When a young man is really hurt, deep down, he pouts and cries, like that little boy he once was. Remember Dopey, that clumsy little runt? Poor baby, he has no concepts of center of gravity and talk. That was excusable though most humans have a poor grasp of rotational kinematics. Let alone a little baby monkey, only a week or two old. Dopey's babyhood was famous for two things, blunders and naps, the latter preferably with a teat in his mouth. He could fall asleep as soon as he had got one between his lips. It would only take seconds before his eyes began to cross and roll back. I suppose he needed it as he was the brainiest of that crop of babies in 2016. Don't believe me? Just look at those big expressive round eyes of his. He was constantly trying to make sense of the world surrounding him. The thought processes must be staggering for his little brain. As brainy as he is. Did he know then what is lying ahead for him? Another glorious day.
Good for a monkey family outing too. Look who's coming. It's Spocky. Dolly's son born in 2017. I have never seen him wandering that far out from beyond the dam before. Doesn't look as though life has been good to him recently, begging like this. No one is grooming him either. Has he fallen out with Nulla Troop? Must be a blow to him if that's the case. They are social animals. I can see Nulla Troop is busy over there. Has Spocky been openly rejected by Nulla Troop? I am afraid only time can tell. So far, only a few from Skullhead Troop have turned up by the road. It doesn't look as though Martha will be popping another one out again. Bubble will truly be her last kid. But unlike Skinny, this is a natural process for her. Martha has reached menopause. See, Jubilee Troop has gone back to their home. And we have Loina's Troop here.
It really does appear the two girls don't hang around with Peppy at all. But it is beginning to bug me that I haven't seen Peppy for two weeks on a row now. Let's go back to see whether I can find him. Nope, I find one of our old boys though. Poor Notty. I don't think he has scored anything this mating season so far. And it is coming to an end by the end of this month. Another boy in Dopey's former boy band. And there's Dopey, who is now truly a member of Skullhead Troop. But the membership comes with a price, if he doesn't know his place. That's the bite wound we saw the other week. It must have got worse. before it is better. The wound looks like it is on the mend now. But the ordeal has taken its toll on Dopey. His face says it all. That little boy in him is back. Oh yes, that little boy is still in him. Sweet Mum Reddy can no longer comfort him at times like this. Not anymore. But he might have found another female who can.
finally, there's someone for him. That's the same female we saw earlier on. Who made the move first? Oh well, it doesn't matter now. They are together. Our dopey has picked up again. It seems dopey has opened up the wound a bit while he was walking down here with that female. But it is mostly the granulation tissue that is bleeding. So it is nothing to worry about. He will be on his feet once again in another week or two. Some soybeans may hasten his recovery though. But first, I want to find Peppy. Let's walk back up. Pepper and one of her daughters is now here. And where is Peppy? Strange for a boy not hanging around the milk bar. And there he is. Phew! I thought we might have lost another baby. Who's that? Another bachelor? Peppy really is a brave boy but it looks like Peppy prefers to hang around with his sister, not Piers.
Hey, mister, you have to date first. You can't just mount like this. This isn't Cambodia. Oh well, at least it has created an opportunity for Peppy to get some milk time with Mum. And the two younger daughters of Peppa are busy with something else. Normally, Peppy will check things out with his sisters. Not this time though, the force is stronger with the milk. For monkeys, it only takes two before everyone gets nosy. That bachelor still waits for his chance. But he'd better learn his manners though. Okay, let's walk back. It seems Dopey has moved down with other members in Skullhead Troop already. Good for him, he is staying out of any trouble. Don't look around, just mind your own business, Dopey. He now looks like a scared boy, doesn't he? A far cry from that cocky young man he was only a few weeks back.
you could almost hear his balls clanking from a distance. Not anymore, he is tucking his balls in. Poor guy, he really could do with some protein supplement. The problem is, he is too scared. Hold on, those boys look familiar. They are our old boys. Yup, Jinji and Pucky have found their way into Dopey's former boy band. Hooray! <laughs> now the two will stand a better chance making it on their own. It seems Pucky is paying respect to an older boy he knows from childhood. Tiddy is in the band too. There is no way Dopey can compete with them. Not in his weakened state now. But at least he is brainy. He grabbed as much as he could before running for cover and has been lying low since. A mouthful of beans at least he has got. And now he's going to hide the scent of beans in his mouth. So that must be him. The new strong Bachelor Male Monkeys Inc. mentioned to me a while ago. Apparently he has smashed his way into Skullhead Troop and is staying. I bet that huge new boy on the block was responsible for that bite wound on Dopey's right thigh. Just lie low, Dopey, for now, and for another few years. Wait until you have more muscles on you.
You have come a long way, Dopey. Keep it up.